hello viewers welcome to our youtube channel so if it's your first time coming across it try to subscribe as we are going to enter into this new video so since you've subscribed you've liked the video we can proceed so in this video we have to concentrate on how to use associative and distributive property so these two properties they come in mostly when you want to use uh, the laws of complementation and how many laws are these same so we have a number of laws that we are going to be using for us to properly use distributive and associative property the first row says a given set intersection its complement has to give us an empty set for instance if i say set a intersection a complement this will automatically give us an empty set so if you try to demonstrate this on a venn diagram you will understand what it means so if this is set a having some elements then we have a universal somewhere there so where is set a and its complement intersecting they're not uh, intersecting at one point that's why it is said to have an empty set the second row the second rule has to be something like this um i'll say a given set union its complement which has to give us what we call the universal set demonstrating from this very point we are going to understand that if this is a ta and actually the complement of this very set has to be outside so whatever is going to be found within set a and outside set a has to belong to the universal set the third rule that we are going to be able to understand has to be something like this a given set intersection an empty set this automatically will result into an empty set as well why because there is no point where these two sets are going to do it to intersect if you try to understand it on a venn diagram we are going to have something like this i'll consider the set on this given part as an empty set then set a as a set which is going to be having some elements such as one two so we are, we are going to understand that a given set a and an empty set they don't have any element in the middle that's why this same part is also said to be an empty set all right the fourth rule that we are going to understand here is a given set union a complement of sorry a given set union empty set we are going to understand that it has to be uh, the set itself or it has to be a universal set so a given set union empty set this will result into a set itself why because the total sum of elements that are found in this set and an empty set are supposed to give us the set itself okay uh, what else the fifth rule rule number five that we are supposed to understand here is a set a given set intersection the universal set the answer we are going to get has to be the set itself why if i try to demonstrate it from there i'm going to understand that universal set and set a where do these two sets intersect so they are going to intersect on the set which is also found in the universal set these are the major major points that we are supposed to understand as we are trying to use a distributive property so most of the times distributive property works well if you want to do it you want to to distribute a complement on the sets that are inside so as you're trying to, to distribute a complement on the sets that are inside there are two major laws that we are going to introduce again that will help us understand what we are going to be doing and what are these same laws if i try to distribute a complement on two different sets automatically the sign in the middle is going to change and we are going to result into a complement so since i'm saying the sign in the middle has to change or the symbol in the middle has to change we are going to notice that instead of writing intersection which is here 
who end up having a union in the middle. Why? Because we've distributed a complement on two different sets. Okay. Uh, at the same time, we are going to understand again uh, that multiplying two complements, this is exactly the same as making them disappear. So we are trying to cancel out the complements the moment you multiply them. If you say this multiplied by that, it will result into something which you won't have a complement. That's what we are supposed to understand the most in this case. So distributive property simply means taking a complement on two different sets. But don't forget that the moment you introduce this same complement on these two sets, automatically the symbol in the middle has to do it, has to change. Instead of we writing intersection, this symbol is going to change to a union. If we had union initially, meaning that here we are going to have um, an intersection on the right hand side. Then associative property simply means multiplying the state which is outside with whatever you have inside the brackets. Multiplying the set which is outside with whatever you have inside the brackets. Let's try to have one example. Alright, so our question goes like this. Using associative and distributive properties of union and intersection of the set, show that x union, open bracket, x complement, intersection of y, close, is equal to x union y. So some people will even start moving from the uh, left hand side, getting what is on the, sorry, moving from right hand side going to the left hand side of which it will take time for you to do that. So the best way is to move from left hand side going to the right hand side. So I'm going to write it like this. I'm moving from the left hand side going to the right hand side. Okay, so what are we going to understand here? Since we don't have a complement outside the brackets, definitely we can't use the distributive property. We are going to go direct to associative property. How are we going to associate? We need to multiply what is outside by what you have inside the brackets, meaning that we are going to multiply x union by this one, then combine everything by intersection. So this is going to give us x union x complement. I'll put this inside the brackets. Then I'll connect with the intersection in the middle. I'll say open again. Then multiply this again by what you have somewhere there. So we're going to have something like this. Remember, we're interested in getting something like this, which is on the right hand side. Then according to the, um, the rules that I gave you, the rules of complementation, any set union its complement, what did we get? A given set union its complement, what did you get? So we are here, a given set union its complement, we are getting a universal set. So actually, we are using associative property, you need to write this on top. So using associative property, you have to write that one on top. Then you you do like what property, uh, the same property is saying. So I'm I'm from saying that a given set union its complement we have uh, we're going to have the universal set. So this has to be intersection. Then we have x union y. Again, if you check properly, a given set in this case this part is considered to be a single set. So I'll say this given set, intersection, universal set, what answer are you getting? So a given set, intersection, universal, we are getting the set itself. So meaning that in this case, intersection of universal and that given set, the answer we are going to get has to be um, x union y, which is on the right hand side in your conclude by saying hence sure. that is something which i wanted to introduce to you thank you very much for your time try to subscribe to our channel try to share the video and leave a comment don't forget to like it thank you